Here's a quick tip for you on magnetizing miniatures. And so I have my Death Watch guy here, and these guys for Kill Team have a bunch of weapon options. And especially in the old Kill Team, they had even more weapon options. And so what I did was I put little magnets in them. And so I can just kind of, you know, play Legos with, you know, that guy's got a sword, and I can put even something on his other arm here. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't really have these two swords, but you know, you get the idea. I've got these arms here, and they have the magnet in there, magnet in there, and then it's just mix and match however you want your loadout to be. So I wanted to just kind of share with you very quickly how I did this. And it starts by you've got to find these really tiny magnets. And these really tiny magnets are, they're, they say they're two millimeters thick, and three millimeters in diameter. I think they are a little thinner than two millimeters just by eye, but that's that's the spec size that they they give. Pair that with an appropriately sized drill bit here. That's a eighth inch drill bit, which is just ever so slightly bigger than these magnets. And you put it in this little pin vise, and you can you can get these just about anywhere, or even Army Painter has one that they sell and it comes with some nice bits and things like that. These magnets, you can get them from any online magnet shops, Amazon, or again, Army Painter has a set that they actually sell with magnets that has some of this size and some other sizes in it. And so what you do, and I'm not gonna demonstrate this because it does take a long time, it takes a little while, so it's a little elbow grease there. You basically, you, I like to poke a little hole with a pin and then you, drill into the miniature with this just kind of you know spinning it around or rotating it until it's deep enough and you just kind of check it you stick your drill bit in there and I I had a mark on there you can kind of still see it about how deep you need to drill in and you check that and once it's deep enough you glue a magnet into it now the thing you want to make sure is that your left arms and your right arms they all you know, magnetize to the right sides of your miniature. And so what I've actually done is, I actually I actually have my magnets oriented so they're all oriented the same way. So you you know, you can picture here there's four magnets. There's one in each arm and, and one on either side of the torso. They're all oriented the same way. So the torso magnets, I don't, you know, they're a little far apart for these tiny magnets, but they're attracting each other rather than repelling. And what that means is you actually need to have a different side out. And so I've made these sticks. And the sticks are great because they're labeled right torso, left arm. Left torso, right arm. So I know if I've got this and I say, okay, what is this? Well, this is a left arm. Okay, so then I grab the left arm stick. It has a magnet glued to it in the correct orientation. I can then take one of these magnets off of here. Uh, I think I got two, just need one. These things are a little bit of a pain to work with, but totally worth it. See, I've just kind of magneted on there. And then I know that when I stick it down into the hole, it's gonna be in the right orientation. You can actually see that sticking there. That is in the right orientation. So I stick it down in the hole. You know, of course it sticks down farther than that and is flush, as flush as possible you can get with the outside there. And that, is a properly magnetized miniature. A little bit of super glue, you can't use plastic glue for this, so a little bit of super glue in there, and you have a magnet, magnet like, glued into the arm of your model, and now you get to play Legos, <laughs> or whatever. You get to play, you know, mix and match with your army. And so that is a quick uh, little tip on how to magnetize these. Use the sticks. Have something for your polarity. That's the big key uh, takeaway from this. There's other great videos out there about how to magnetize. And um, I, a lot of them say something like this. You got to figure out, you got to check your polarity. This is the way that I've come up with to check the polarity. So maybe that's useful to you. Hopefully it is. And hopefully you enjoyed watching this short little tutorial. Thanks for watching. Take care.